what discussions are you hearing when it's come to uh, Cloud Foundry and Kubernetes? There have been two major projects uh, pushing Cloud Foundry into the direction of Kubernetes, which was uh, kubectl and um, uh, CF for uh, Kubernetes. Um, I think um, kubectl is uh, has become less popular with uh, CF for Kubernetes being the, well, let's say, candidate to uh, move forward. So that, that would have been my assessment um, in case you ask me a few, a few months back. But um, now it seems to be that the impact of Kubernetes uh, to Cloud Foundry is more substantial and that uh, the Cloud Foundry Foundation and its members, where also AnyNimes is, uh, is a member, uh, the discussions, they are heading into a new direction. In particular, uh, the idea is that if there are components um, necessary to, uh, to offer an application developer experience on Kubernetes that evolve quickly and have wide adoption in the Kubernetes uh, ecosystem. So we're talking about functionality such as um, service meshes uh, and ingresses, for example. Then the question is whether there is value um, if, if Cloud Foundry basically also has the same functionality. So it appears that the direction Cloud Foundry is moving to is to adapt more of the Kubernetes uh, components that have, let's say, conquered certain niches in the, um, in, the Cloud in the Kubernetes ecosystem, and therefore adapt those Kubernetes native technologies uh, more. Uh, reducing the amount of code that Cloud Foundry itself has to um, uh, govern, and I think that will lead to um, two effects. First, the Cloud Foundry experience will uh, become closer to a native Kubernetes experience in the sense that, for example, um, more Kubernetes uh, idioms will also be supported by Cloud Foundry, and that Cloud Foundry itself becomes more lean and uh, I think also infrastructure uh, over it will be reduced a bit. At the same time, it's also the case that um, Kubernetes and Cloud Foundry, they do have this uh, special relationship, so to say. So I think where Cloud Foundry will remain strong is in the overall experience of having a full, let's say this popular or the, the famous CF push experience. So the CF push experience will be preserved. And I also think that the idea of having Cloud Foundry for um, clusters, Kubernetes clusters, where there are a lot of applications that have to be maintained in a production grade manner, that also will be a strong focus in Cloud Foundry. So in contrast to other projects where there's more focus on getting it started and uh, you know, have that pleasant, that pleasant experience, uh, Cloud Foundry was always a bit more heavyweight, but at the same time robust and suitable for large-scale applications. Um, so I think that will be uh, preserved during the migration towards Kubernetes.